Hi, welcome to SAP MM training class. Today we are going to discuss release procedures. Under this subject matter of discussion, we are going to discuss the uh, topics, overview of release procedure and its different scenarios, definition of terms like release groups, codes, strategies, release strategies, release codes, release strategies, release indicators and release procedure with classification and also without classification. Under these classifications we are going to see creating characteristics, creating classes and using of these classes in following procedures. Release procedure preparation and customization for purchase requisition. In this requisition we are going to see header level, release procedure with header level and also release procedure with item level we are going to see. Also release procedure preparation and customization for, uh, for purchase orders. In this there is no item levels is only header level but there is a approval levels also we are going to see above release procedures so these are the topics we are going to discuss in that uh, a scenario we are going to discuss let's say a company in this company 1000 a purchasing officer is there purchase officer his responsibilities are to procure the materials and a manager need to verify for all the aspects technically and uh, financially cost wise he need to verify it and uh, stock and other things also is going to verify it and chartered accountant there will be a CA CA responsibility is to check the cost whether this price is uh, reasonable and is the cash is available is it required or uh, he has to uh, see whether he has kept in budget or is it budgeted or not so like that he has to see his own responsibility also uh, that's why CA also always needs to, uh, needs to see cost of purchasing and finally the MD who is the monitoring the entire unit he is responsible for P&L so that, that's why uh, uh, say responsible P and L. So that's why he will be final authority to approve the uh, that item to purchase it or not. That means uh, the item when we are going to purchase. That means when we are going to purchase only we have to take care because if you have given already purchase order to the vendor and our vendor brings this one if you are not going to take or you have already taken and you have to pay that time when you are thinking about it uh, it is uh, it will not work out so it's a debacle so that's why uh, it is before going to issue a uh, purchase order these are all plan needed to see and then needed to issue the purchase order so that means uh, we need to put a uh, approval procedure for that means a release procedure for approval procedure uh, in the sense it is almost a releasing of purchase order is approval uh, approval procedure so if we have uh, followed that means each and everything in this MD is a final authority and he can release for all of them but 
he cannot do a single things and all this so he will give some responsibility to a manager level who knows the items and uh, who uses in the real unit so production manager or whoever it may be responsible look into uh, activities so that person he will give some of the uh, major items he will give responsibility to purchase uh, verify and approve it that means what is purchasing officer is responsible to procure everything he will go to the market and he will see that one he will procure the material he will bring the vendor and then he prepares the purchase order and then he will uh, he, before preparing the purchase order he will take advice from the manager he wanted to buy this one it is needed so manager is the one is an is there any alternative to uh, adjust that one or needed to compulsory buy the manager will see so manager if at all it is necessary and the cost is higher amount then the manager again gives a intimation uh, information to the passes information to the uh, chartered accountant and as well as uh, managing director so these uh, two of these guys say uh, ca and md will look and then they will uh, after the discussion the md will approve for that that means it depends on the cost of each and every one these activities cannot be done by this higher level people those uh, they will give some responsibility to manager only that means there is a certain amount the ca can say any item like any items values values less than Say thousand dollars is there. He lease the purchase order. Purchase order is the one which is legally responsible for getting the material for vendor. So when vendor will get a purchase order, that means it's a legal uh, document. So he can uh, procure the on the basis of that one he can prepare the material and uh, supply the material. So that's why the company is responsible. It cannot. Uh, uh, Um, uh, it cannot uh, reject the PO uh, when everything is okay. So that's why so the company has to. There is a chance that one vendor can sue. Uh, so that's why the uh, the company policy it should be like purchase order needed to uh, restrict. It should not uh, go to the vendor hand. so that is that means purchase order should not be printed so that we have to see before printing all this approval that release procedure should be there and also we can see the release procedure in the case of purchase requisition itself so in the if we are going through purchase requisition means whenever we are requesting for the uh, purchasing uh, purchase requisition means is a procedure that any item they wanted in the company anybody wanted uh, they they will raise a requisition that requisition itself we can put it to uh, this release procedure so that uh, its requisition only we can control it so that is uh, another way so when we are creating the requisitions and uh, the purchase orders with the release procedures so there are two processes one is with classification and another one is without classification here classification means we have seen that classifications in creating material master so classifications is classifying so it is for the purpose of classifying in which we always see a characteristic will be there a set of characteristics will be there those characteristics uh, will be looking into the tables we know uh, tables how to create it and all this we have done so here also procedure is similar characteristics and that characteristics are going to be used in the class using this class we are going to do this release procedure one way and without the classification means without using the classifications also that means without characteristics without classes also we can do the release procedure there is another way but uh, in the purchase requisition 
uh, when we are creating a purchase requisition there is two ways possible one is header level another one is like uh, item level that means if we go to the purchase requisition you can see here these are the item levels if there are several items more than five ten items are there and if we are going to release one by one that is item level we can say the item level means if we are releasing at this this item we don't want to release the other item we wanted to release uh, like that if we are releasing so that is item level and entire completely this document we are using to release this procedure that procedure is header level so there are two types it is possible in the uh, this uh, purchase requisition whereas in uh, purchase order we go to the purchase order me 21 yen Uh, in this purchase uh, order this level the item level is not possible it is impossible only with the complete document level in this purchase order so only in the case of uh, purchase requisition item level which item needed to pass which item uh, needed to approve which item not to approve so that uh, is possible in the purchase requisition so that is one and now approval levels for above uh, approval levels for above procedure these are all uh, in all the cases we can use approval levels means there is an hierarchical levels and value levels as i told that one in the uh, this example below 1000 the manager can approve and anything above man any anything above the md has to do it that means uh, md is the responsible for above 1000 dollars any purchases are there uh, md will keep in his hand so that is the way how approval procedure we have to create it so like that uh, generally the companies even there will be a three levels four levels also they may keep it it depends on the this thing one you have understood you can maintain uh, different things and uh, some terms we are going to use in this release procedure those are releasing groups releasing codes strategies and release indicators so generally uh, there is one more release conditions also we are going to see later uh, that these terms are very confusing people will uh, uh, confuse with uh, these terminologies and which one is actually relating to what in practically so to understand to clarify this one if we clarify this one the procedure is very simple and easier so to clarify this one let us go to the next slides so if these different definitions if we see that first let us uh, see into this release conditions release conditions are those uh, determine the release strategy in accordance with which a complete purchase requisition or a requisition item is to be released even i emphasized with a purchase requisition but you can also imply this one for purchase order also so like this there is a characteristics like plant is a characteristics for this release procedure that means wants of plant material needed for approval like that so and purchase organization company code so here we have created three characteristics like plant purchase organization and company code in this set of these three is combination of these three occurrence is a condition so that means any of the company not any of the company the plant 1000 plant purchase organization is 1000 and company code is 1000 when these three are together we call it as this is a release condition is satisfying then it follows one procedure so that means you can see here if company code is same purchase organization is same but plant is different 
that means it is not following this condition so it can freely uh, prepare the purchase requisition or purchase order so that means it is violating this condition so it can go freely it is uh, not uh, going it is not uh, under this uh, area so like that release conditions are those combination of these characteristics when this characteristic value means characteristics of this one if you give a specific value to that one it is a values so like plant when you say plant plant can be any number but here we have already defined is 1000 plant so that means it is fixed so another there can be another set of this thing there will be a 2000 plant and 1000 purchase organization 1000 company code that is another condition again so condition can be differ like that so releasing condition i am i thought you have clearly understood so conditions are those set combination of these characteristic values is a condition characteristics are for which we wanted to create a uh, release procedure uh, attributes which on what basis we are going to do the release procedure those are the characteristics here release procedure we are going to do it on the depend uh, on the uh, considering these three factors so these are the characteristics for this release processes and there is a release strategy this term release strategy we use a strategy means how we can prepare the how should be this this release procedure that means who has to approve first who has to second who has to who has to purchase it who has to approve it so those are the uh, strategy like here uh, engineer or something somebody will prepare it on the basis of his own a manager operations again he will approve it and his value is more still it will go to the purchasing manager and purchasing manager again approves then ceo or cfo or md will approve that so this strategy strategy should be maybe two levels three levels four levels or how it will be depends upon strategy sometimes even the eight code levels also uh, it can be developed so strategy is like how many levels of approvals are uh, generally called as release strategies so who has to approve that means if the value wise if you see that one Uh, manager level approval is rf then that is one strategy like that it happens so suppose this is one strategy the only value below this one value lower level value purchase orders are there the strategy is different only manager can approve it so that means engineer will request for approval and manager will approve for that and the po will release then this is a different strategy even sometimes uh, three levels will be there If, if it is liver you can see here the amount is more than that 1000 dollars or something another range is there there is another uh, release strategy is the three level strategy so there is another one like if it is higher amount over than more than the uh, 5000 or 4000 dollars something like 6000 dollars is there md needed so this step by step release uh, setup is strategy one after the another who is approving it that procedure is really strategy not the individuals manager and the uh, engineer manager and purchase manager md these are not the uh, strategies strategy is he has to approve next he has to approve next year that procedure is a strategy that you have to understand so uh, here condition is the characteristic combination values which characteristics we have given all of them one set of value is a condition so and there is a release code if you see this release code the release code denoting a release point is a two characteristics id two character id allowing a person to process a requisition item or purchase order item the release codes are defined in customizing facility for purchasing and assigned to a release strategy 
So here what happens? A release codes are created and assigned for the uh, these employees uh, IDs, user IDs, because those codes are the one which releases the uh, processor in the computer. Because manually uh, it is not there anything outside is in the computer. So when this person will pass that one to the manager, manager will. Uh, release that one it will go to the purchase manager purchasing manager to md it will go so these are the nodal points these node points are the person that is release points we can say all these are release points who will uh, release the uh, in this release procedure so that means not the persons they are not the persons is the release codes persons are assigned the there, uh, these persons are assigned with these codes. That means we are going to create the, some codes, and later we are going to assign for users. So that is uh, that user is going to as uh, re release it at that place only. So that is the meaning. So codes are IDs for IDs for uh, these individuals. Codes are IDs means uh, uh, codes are different and. Uh, user IDs are different so later we are going to assign the release codes with the user IDs so then uh, ID and code will become together now release group what is release group release group the number of release codes used in uh, performing a single strategy in one strategy how many people's how many uh, release codes are there Suppose if lower less than ten one thousand dollars approval procedure is there, in that procedure, how many people are there? Two uh, release codes. These two release codes means two persons are there. Each person has having one code attached with one code. So these two release codes together is called one group. So that is release group. Another uh, there will be a, another group like this is uh, with higher value these three members are there so this group is different uh, we have to create uh, groups like that this is one group for release approval because if group is not created and release strategy is not created for them then he cannot uh, approve for even lower than lower value also so he has uh, a power of releasing the purchase order or purchase requisition less than 1000 value of the document so if the document goes more there is a, it follows another uh, release procedure uh, release, so that release procedure will contain with a different release group again another set of group we have to create it and in this these two are uh, not going to affect anything but they will forward the uh, document to the last manager so this purchase manager will approve that and the, if there is a another release group this group having the uh, hierarchy levels up to four but uh, uh, four members are needed to approve in this so in this uh, one by another that means this is having a different strategy and this is having a different release group so this condition also different because here more than the six thousand us dollars uh, document value so that level of document value is higher level so for this the release uh, person is different so that's why we needed to create a release group different and uh, release indicator we have to uh, we are also going to see in this procedure release indicator this release indicator denoting a release point or uh, is assigned to a set of release indicators by which a document is affecting, affected. That means document is affected means either this document is released or it, it is going to be blocked. So that is called as affecting. So this we have to create one indicator when they are, the release codes are operating, performing, they are operating, they are approving it, either they will approve it or they will reject it so these two options it should be there those called as release indicators
like example yes no you can create it or approved or rejected you can create or released or blocked you can create x y y x and y like any codes you can create it one will be for rejecting another one will be for approved final means that is affected it it is released like that now a uh, flow diagram uh, is there in this flow diagram you can understand complete terminology and procedure uh, also you can understand and later in this you can also see from this picture character what are the characteristics and classes and roles of them uh, in this release procedure so you can see uh, suppose here uh, a person preparing the creating a purchase order when he is creating a purchase order if you go to the purchase order you can see here organization in this you are going to see purchase organization company code these uh, values will be there and there is a plant also you have to supposed to enter these data is compulsory you have to enter without these data you cannot able to create the these are mandatory fields you cannot able to create the po so that means when you are entering these three data suppose let me open the old one data moment so here purchasing group purchase organization company code and this uh, plant is also there so when you are uh, when you are going to enter these values you can see here when you are going to enter here the system sap checks the conditions because we have applied inside those conditions these characters i am going to show you how to apply and all these the conditions the characteristics value how to create the characteristics how to create a class how we have to put it into the release procedure we are going to see but you just now understand that one there is a class applied in the release procedure that class containing these are the characteristics in this characteristics we have given these values you can imagine and there is another values also we have given so su suppose uh, for one condition we have given this value when this uh, condition these values are matched then it follows the from here path if this is not matched then it, it is matched second one it is going to follow second one and later i am going to show you if they are not passing these two conditions that means what it will do it while a system violates this one and it will directly it can print that means it ignores this conditions release procedure and this person himself he can print the purchase order that means if he is printing the purchase order if we are using idoc directly even it can go to the vendor also so that means we are sending information to the vendor that means vendor it receives it is a legal uh, entity purchase order and then he starts preparing later if you are not going to receive the material then he is uh, he may sue in the court also because he has already spent the money for on preparing the material so that problem will implications may create so that's why so the release procedure should be such a way there should not be any room to directly print the uh, such a way you have to choose these characters that is uh, as a consultant uh, job that means this uh, if he knows that one these are the conditions if this condition if he has not taken then he can do it so that means all of the purchase documents you should block and uh, only purchase documents and only these plants only needed to operate no other way you can able to uh, prepare the purchase order like that you have to uh, keep it and then you have to apply the um, purchase order otherwise you have to take all of them into uh, this range all the documents all the companies you have to take into this range any one he has taken but you can also you cannot also do the other companies other uh, plants also you cannot consider so that is one way so that means if the person is working with 1000 plant you should not able to 
uh, see the 2000 plant in is this 1000 plant that means another plant one it should not appear into this plant like that the system has to be set and then you have to apply that so this is one way now here you have to see just I am explaining these characters only still you can restrict by keeping many other characteristics also any other you wanted to combination up to 8 characteristics you can still put it in that that is up to you now just for example there are two conditions if these two conditions are not there it passes from there if conditions are there it will pass let us consider uh, suppose if there is no condition it goes like that and then it can print the purchase uh, PO but if they are going to use this strategy means condition 1 when there is a condition 1 purchase organization plant and this below $1000 value of the PO when you entered that means if you go and see here the value of the purchase organization where purchase uh, document value uh, conditions if you go and see the value total value how much it is there 50 net price 100 it is going to be 5000 this is more than that one only I have not applied anything I just I am showing you so it should be less than the uh, 1000 uh, this is INR also we are explaining in dollar but don't click into the currency and I'll just look the value of this one the value is like this you can see and uh, in the header you can see the organization values this company code these are the data are given it will check those and value also it will check if it falls below in that range then it is satisfying that condition condition one so it is going to be condition 2 in the in this case that means still it is going to be approval procedure so but here condition 1 when it is satisfied I am explained yet condition 2 in next uh, slide so condition 1 is there in this there is only two releasing codes I kept it and for two releasing codes one is purchase officer another one is manager is going to apply that means these two members together that means two releasing codes is, ne, is called the releasing group that means release code 1 and release code 2 is a releasing group and whereas one person needed to approve and afterwards another person is going to be that means he is going to uh, request and a manager is going to be approved this procedure is called a strategy like when is going to uh, when is going to request and another person is going to uh, means one person is preparing another person is requesting another person is approving and later it has to release and printing needed to effect that means the document is affected the print will come that means release strategy is this way so this is the thing you have to understand how it will be that means you see when is prepared it is checked condition is satisfied it has come here until and unless this person is requesting that means if you if he is requested what happens the circuit will bridge and passes to the next manager that means he is going to push it that it is okay and next it goes to the uh, manager hand manager court now manager will see that one and if he releases then it will it will go and it will print print out will come that means the purchase order is affected that is the way so if the condition one is not satisfied that is amount is more than that one purchase organization purchase plant both are same only but only the value is gone more in that case then it goes it goes to the second one but before I will tell you here some terminology these release codes generally what happens we are going to assign for a user id as i told explained before these are release codes and these are assigned to the manager 
and purchase officers like that it will be now let us go to this situation in the condition 2 in this condition 2 uh, because the value has gone more everything is same only value has gone more that is the why the document value has gone more that's why release strategy is different because manager cannot approve so there should be md needed to approve that means here there are three codes has come in picture that means three codes one after another one one after another one is called the one different strategy the before one different strategy only two code strategy this is three code strategy in this three code strategy there are three members are there each code will be assigned for one is for purchase organization another for manager another for md like that so now so this uh, if uh, that, that is already i have shown so when it is condition is satisfied it uh, it is in the place of purchase officer purchase officer when is is approves that means he releases not you can say release he has passes to the manager that means he, he clicks that one uh, then it goes to the manager manager requests again uh, it goes to the md md when he approves it then po will uh, print print will release that po will be printed here you can imagine print me printed means either you, it is printed or it can go to the directly by idoc uh, directly to uh, vendor also you can also there is no printer directly it goes to the through email uh, it can go to the vendor also and that also you can imagine later you can say anything instead of this printer you can say you can already vendor is received the message like that you can imagine so that means uh, there is a strategy this three mem three codes group so entire thing is different it has become because for condition 2 there is a different one like this has value basis uh, you can also create it so now in this explanation you might have understood here the class this is all together is a class in this class so forming this three of them is one condition if another one is another condition so there will be two release conditions one condition another condition for this condition needed to release procedure for another condition also needed to release now you have understood the conditions what are the conditions what are the characteristics all together is a class class needed to assign for this release procedure so to do that one we have to go to the img means uh, we have to go to the spro img and release procedures are there in the release uh, purchase requisition and purchase order for mm side so in the uh, we have to go to the that means we have to go to the materials management and uh, we have to go to purchase purchasing so i will show you today uh, with purchase order purchase requisition the next class i am going to show you because in this purchase requisition there are two levels we have to see uh, first i will show you purchase order in this also i will open and show you discuss this i have explained clearly what is classification class is there without class i have explained but before going to do this i will also show you here there is a release procedure is there there is also release procedure in this so two places also release procedures in the above one release procedure if you open that one you can see here setup procedure without classification that means in this classification characters all this will not come in this one without classification this so it is uh, uh it is only uh, you can see release codes release indicators uh, sign release indicators release points determination of release strategy everything is there but 
it is uh, set up for without classification in this set up for without classification you cannot apply for many things you only have to you are restricted to use those characters only these four characters you can see account assignment you can able to use you can use um, uh, material group you can use that means you can create on these four characteristics they are not a, a standard fixed characteristics for without classification only these four only you can able to use you cannot use any other one either one or more or all of them these four only you can put release procedure on the basis of these four you can put on the basis of plan or material group or account category uh, account assignment category purchase requisition value these four only you can do it whereas uh, with the classification you can use this characteris characteristics so if i show the purchase order it is similar to the with classification in the purchase requisition also same thing so let me go to the purchase order and in this purchase order we will open the release procedure let me close this before closing let me uh, show the similarities procedure with classification procedure release procedure for purchase order with classification in this classification system only is there there is no without classification is not there in the purchase order so characteristics edit classes define release procedure for purchase order set up procedure with classification here yeah, with classification it is similar to that check release strategies check release strategies both are same in this if you have seen this one you also seen in this now only without classification we will do one more okay so now i have shown you the similarities so you can see now characteristics we will create the characteristics so now the characteristics we have seen in the other place also we can create our situation is like we will take situation this is the company in this uh, we take the purchase officer manager and we remove the ca and we will also remove this gms we will only use these three persons so values also we we are going to put this because this is yearly basis i have given just target that is external one we are not going to use anything that so we are going to use this one anything less than this value the manager is going to approve and anything more than the this value md will approve it so this is the procedure we are going to do it anything more above all above 1000 usd so this is the procedure we will create that means value hierarchy level is there strategy purpose one purchase order purchase officer manager that means three codes we needed to create it and uh, company we are going to create this one and let us use uh, 
purchase arc also we are going to use uh, 1000 because only company means and uh, there is a uh, plant uh, if we have created the plant plant is also there then we will also see plant so let us see this plant also so that characters will increase so now how many characters we needed to create it plant purchase organization and company code then uh, also this value basis we have to see on the value basis also document value so four characters we needed to create it Uh, this is a longer processor so okay let me do it so that uh, you will have the idea uh, and just it will be lengthy processor why can't i remove this plant only two of them i will take it and this plant i will remove value i will keep it because it is similar only so why should we use this uh, what will do this no. I'll just create it. 